Many people spend their lives searching for peace in external things. Things like material possession, career achievements, or even just validation from people. But I believe that true inner peace does not come from the outside world. It does come from within though. So in this video, I wanna explore why inner peace is the key to lasting fulfillment and how you can cultivate it in your life. So first we need to understand the false promise of external peace. And this begins with the chase for external validation. We're often taught that, you know, success, wealth, social recognition, these are the paths to peace, to greatness. We think that if we achieve these things, we'll finally feel happy and at ease. But the truth is, external things are fleeting and the peace that they offer is temporary at best. And why external circumstances cannot sustain peace is simply due to the fact that life is unpredictable. No matter how much you control or accumulate, external circumstances will always change. If your peace is dependent on these valuables, it is always going to be very fragile, very easily disrupted by the ups and downs of life. There was a man named Zeno who was a, um, who was a trader, you know, he was sell, uh, back in three, 300 uh, BC. And he was basically, you know, selling stuff, buying stuff. He was just, you know, making a lot of money that way. And he was one of the richest. And once he was sailing with his whole boat of his treasure, right? And there was a huge storm. And he survived, but his entire boat with all of his valuables got lost in the sea. But he who let, was let, who um, was going later to be literally the creator of Stoicism. He didn't care. I mean, obviously he cared, right? But it's like, he didn't let those valuables and those kinds of materialistic things that he had dictate his life, dictate his emotions. And from that day on, he lived in peace from just life, from being able to experience life, rather than complaining or being sad or being angry at the world because he was so unlucky, you know. He didn't complain about any of that. And I think that is really truly the way to cultivate inner peace is to let go of control. When you let go of control and stop trying to gain control of everything around you, you understand that life is uncertain. You accept that. And then you are much less shaken by external events. Like for Zeno, was his boat sinking? Peace comes when you allow life to unfold without resisting and just not caring about the outcomes very much. You must focus on your internal state so instead of looking for peace in the outside world from all these cool things that you might want, like, oh, this nice car, whatever, you must focus on your internal state. There's a very common kind of sentence, I guess, um, with people who work out, right? Especially, you know, in the gym, weightlifters, stuff like that. And it's basically where they say that Oh, if I get just a little bit more big and a little bit more lean and I put on a little bit more muscle, then I'll be happy. And this is with, this is with anything, right? It doesn't matter what you say, with, but I hear it with this very often. It is just all such a lie because we always just want a little bit more. And then once we gain that little bit more, then we want even more. 
and then another bit, a little bit more, and another little bit more. And it never ends. Because that's when we're only looking at the outside. If we use things like mindfulness, meditation, self-reflection, we use these powerful tools to quiet up the mind and connect with the peace that already exists within us, then we're going to start to kind of work on our inner state and the less we will rely on external factors for peace. And truly the best kind of life you can have is when you are living in peace and able to progress towards your goals in complete peace. So remember, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. <laughs>